Dear friends in Jesus Christ, the Gospel today presents the kingdom parable of the treasure hidden in the field which highlights the inestimable value of the kingdom. If you may ask me why was the treasure hidden in the field, the answer is this. Just as we use today bank lockers and e-wallets for the safety of our valuables, the first century Palestinians used the ground as the safest place to keep their most cherished belongings. Jewish historian Josephus speaks of how, when the tide of war threatened to sweep over them, it was a common practice for people to hide their valuables in the ground before they took to flight in the hope of returning and regaining them. This being the background, let me call your attention to one of the most overlooked side of the parable. It is true that the man stumbled upon the treasure accidentally, but he did so when he was going about his daily business. It is only legitimate to infer that he must have been doing his day's work with diligence and efficiency because he must have been digging deep and not merely scrapping the surface in order to strike against the treasure. The parable is a reminder to us that surprises, satisfaction, the sense of God and the presence of Christ are all to be found in the day's work. Now, how is this parable connected to the kingdom of heaven? As theologian Karl Barth puts it, Every parable of Jesus at the deeper level is finally about Jesus himself. Church Father Origen rightly calls Jesus as the Auto Basileia, that means Jesus is the kingdom in person. He not only came to preach and establish the kingdom of heaven, but he himself is the kingdom in person. Saint Lawrence, a 17th century mystic who spent most of his time doing the dishes in the monastery kitchen would say, I felt Jesus Christ as close to me in the kitchen as I ever did at the Blessed Sacrament. If Blessed Artemides Zati, Saint Teresa of Kolkata and other saints found themselves ministering to Christ in their daily routine, they are certainly an inspiration for us to find Christ in fulfilling our daily tasks be it domestic chores, daily work, or studies. If the man found the treasure in the day's routine, we are also called to experience the kingdom of God in our daily routine. May we then experience Christ, the greatest treasure of our life, in the day's routine ahead of us. Amen.